So in today's video, we're gonna be looking at the new feature for history menu in Microsoft Teams. I'm sure you've been there where you've been working on say a file, then you end up in a chat, in your calendar, so on and so forth, and you're thinking, why is it not easy for me to get back to that file where you have to navigate, for example, through the team, back to the file you're working on, or you know, insert any other kind of workflow. But now with the history menu, you can pretty much get back to anything in Teams, whether it's your conversations, a channel, a file, an application. So let's go ahead, dive in and look at this new history menu. Okay, so we're now here inside Microsoft Teams. Let's have a look at how we can use the history menu. So to get the history menu going, you'll see on the top left, we've got the back arrow and the forward arrow. Well, right now, if you just wanna go backwards once, you can still click this, or if you wanna go forwards, you can click the forward arrow. But to get the history menu up, what you wanna do is just hover over, for example, the back arrow, and now it brings up this list of 12 unique places that I've last been to within Microsoft Teams. And you can see here, I've got things like applications, files, channels, even conversations. So pretty much anywhere that you're going in Microsoft Teams is gonna show up on this list. So we could say, for example, I, I was working in this PowerPoint, I wanna quickly get back to it. So all I have to do is just select this Teams PowerPoint, and then it's gonna go ahead and load within Microsoft Teams. Then if I wanna go back to another place, I could just hover back over the back arrow, and maybe I wanna go ahead and look at a meeting that I was in previously. So I wanted to see if there was any files or notes or conversations, whatever it might be. So this is a really powerful way of navigating. As I say, you could still just click the back arrow. And if you do that, you could hover over the forward arrow now and go to any other place that you've been to recently in Microsoft Teams. It is also worth noting that the history menu does work on Mac OS as well. So Hopefully this video has been helpful. If you've enjoyed it, make sure you like, subscribe, and we'll see you next week for another video.